Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Multinational beverage and brewing company AB InBev subsidiary South African Breweries will invest 2.8 billion rand into brewery expansions, including two new packaging lines for its returnable glass bottles at its Al Road and Roslyn breweries in Gateng. Enin Kilian tells us more. The Johannesburg-based brewing and bottling major announced that its investment would be in addition to the public interest commitments made by AB InBev during last year's acquisition of SAB Miller, whereby AB InBev agreed to invest 1 billion rand into South Africa over five years. The new packaging lines will have the capacity to bottle 45,000 bottles in one hour, and SAB will purchase 4 million crates and 48 million bottles to start production. The Allroad packaging line will be in production by August, while Roslyn will be online by October. The expansions at both breweries will create additional part-time opportunities and, once both packaging lines are running, they will create up to 70 new full-time jobs. The cost of expansion at Allroad, including the packaging equipment and building works, will be more than 1.3 billion rand, while the Roslyn expansion, which also includes a new brew house, will cost 1.5 billion. The new imported brew house at Roslyn is capable of 14 brews a day of 750 hectoliters and is scheduled to be in operation by the first half of next year. AB InBev Africa President Ricardo Tadeo says that the investment would help increase SAB's capacity by between 7 and 8 percent. For example, in terms of developing agriculture, we are going to invest in the next five years 5 billion rand. So, but this is for the development of local production, of barley, for example, that will be part of that supply chain. So I think that what's the great thing is uh, we are investing not only what we committed, but bringing something new to the market that will help us increase our capacity by around seven to eight percent versus what we have today. And we will be able to nationalize as much as possible all your raw material input. I mean, and and actually become exporters. So, I mean, it's a big change for the country. We are very proud to be part of it. He added that by creating jobs and driving economic growth and investment, SAB would contribute towards the company's sustainable development goals, which are aligned with South Africa's national development plan. The combination of both All Road uh, and Rossin is 2.8 billion rand. So it's, uh, and this is divided in basically expanding brewing capacity, especially in Rossin, and two new packaging lines for returnable bottles. So and all the bottles and crates that we are buying. So we are purchasing around 4 million crates, uh, 48 million bottles, additional to to start those lines. Other news making headlines. Prefabricated buildings manufacturer Quickspace Modular Buildings is currently completing a multi-million rand project for Mozambique Graphite Mining Company, Twig Exploration and Mining. Nadine James has a story. Quickspace CEO Sean McCormack notes that the company has been active in Mozambique for several years adding that its presence has ensured that it is able to capitalize on the various opportunities presented by the Mozambique mining industry. Well, um, Mozambique, we, we've, um, we've, in the past, we, we, we thought at one stage that there was going to be quite a lot of growth in the, in the TET region related to the coal projects. Um, we were very active uh, at a point in time, uh, particularly with the Nicola Corridor. Uh, we built a camp in, in the port of Nicola and several several camps uh, along the rail line. Um, so you can see how one big project does generate lots of opportunities and opportunities for southern African businesses. Um, we've kept our presence in Mozambique and um, we've kept our branches open and we have a rental fleet uh, throughout Mozambique. And you know, we've been fortunate to pick up some of the graphite mines in the northern part of Mozambique. If the coal price corrects itself and you know, there's talk of other rail lines from, from TET and other potential coal projects in the, in the TET region or power projects related to that. So we've kept our presence and um, we're hoping that uh, you know, that will generate future opportunities. Obviously the big driver in the Mozambique region is um, the oil and gas opportunities where everyone's really waiting and holding their breath and <laughs> waiting for something to happen there. Over the past year, Quickspace has completed several mining projects, the most recent being a 20 million rand project completed in July for a Guinean coal miner. McConnick points out that prefabricated bowlings and other Quickspace bowling solutions are manufactured in Johannesburg, Gauteng, and then transported to site using the company's truck fleet, or sea flight depending on the distance. He comments that there has been a decline in large-scale projects in line with weaker commodity prices, but adds that Quickspace continues to track mining projects and developments throughout Africa, looking for growth opportunities. In Zambia, we've, we've got a permanent um, 
uh, facility in Zambia in a rental fleet. Uh, the Zambia market has been a bit quiet, uh, but there are signs of recovery. And uh, likewise in DRC, where we um, there's a couple of new copper mines that have been developed and uh, we're well positioned there. That's Kruma Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.